Hello, my name is Kuda Sakurai, and I would like to start my fourth video journal. How I did in class last week was, um, well, throughout this discussion, um, uh, my opinion kind of uh, changed, and the reason was because, um, well, first, I uh, wasn't really supporting uh, capital punishment. Uh, well, having capital punishment in uh, American states and in Japan because um, I thought that life imprisonment was uh, just as heavy as capital punishment and uh, the reason was because well I thought like in prison uh, uh, well you don't get to breathe the outside air and uh, well you're in a small room that's really dim and the only thing you can do is eat and sleep and uh, you're going to have to uh, repeat the same uh, kind of uh, life the same kind of life where you just do nothing throughout the day for you know 40 to for the rest of your life and you uh, well you know that you're not going to go uh, you're not going to be able to get out from the prison and so I thought that uh, life imprisonment was uh, kind of torture, and maybe uh, some people might, you know, start to uh, start to want to, uh, you know, die by themselves, like uh, like capital punishment. And so, uh, well, I thought that life imprisonment was just as heavy as capital punishment. But uh, after hearing. Uh, stories from our group and from the professor i i found out that well in prison uh not only do you get to uh breathe the outside air go out and uh you know play basketball and all those stuff but you uh get to uh, be educated like uh uh, uh like uh, the professor said uh, the debate team and the uh from the prisoners uh, be the debate team in the Harvard universities and uh, that's just uh, an incredible thing and I didn't know that imprisonment uh, that prisoners get to be educated and so my opinion kind of changed throughout the discussion and I kind of thought that um, well uh, a capital punishment might uh, be way heavier than life imprisonment and so uh, in cases there may be, yeah, there may be cases when you need capital punishment, and so uh, in that term, my opinion kind of changed throughout the discussion, and I think uh, that wasn't a very uh, good thing because, um, well, uh, in order to make your opinion persuasive, this is kind of obvious, but uh, you need a strong opinion that doesn't change that has uh, you know sh a strong supporting factors and uh, just you know your opinion changing throughout the discussion is just kind of um, it's unacceptable kind of I mean it's it doesn't uh, sound persuasive and when I hear um, persuasive speeches from uh, well persuasive talkers I kind of I get influence from them and I just really uh, can't stick with the same opinion throughout the discussion and so uh, during the next uh, class I think I would like to try to um, uh, have a strong opinion that has strong supporting factors that uh, and and uh, you know to have a consistent opinion throughout just throughout the discussion and to be able to um, uh, have those kind of consistency I think I have to um, do research more because uh, do having more uh, proof would uh, having more proof for my opinion would uh, I think certainly uh, support uh, make my opinion more stronger and uh, the play I chose was um well uh i like star wars and um this is one of the uh really 
uh, famous scenes from Star Wars. It's uh, in The Revenge of the Sith, uh, number three, episode three, where um, uh, Padme and Anakin uh, talk in uh, this planet called Musafar before they uh, before Obi Wan and Anakin starts uh, fighting. I think I would like to read uh, about one minute about this. Anakin, I was so worried about you. Obi Wan told me terrible things. What things? He said that you turned to the dark side. That you killed younglings. Obi-Wan is trying to turn you against me. He cares about us. Us? He knows. He wants to help you, Anakin. All I want is your love. Love won't save you, Padme. Only my new powers can do that. But at what cost? You're a good person. Don't do this. I won't lose you the way I lost my mother. I am becoming more powerful than any Jedi has ever dreamed of. And I'm doing it just for you. To protect you. Come away with me. Help me raise our child far away. Leave everything else behind while we still can. No. Don't you see? We don't have to run away anymore. We no longer have to hide our love for each other. I am more powerful than the Chancellor. I... I can overthrow him, and together you and I can rule the galaxy. We can make things the way we want them to be. I don't believe what I'm hearing. Obi-Wan was right. You've changed. You've turned to the dark side. You're not Anakin anymore. Uh, yeah, um, that was as emotional as I could get. Uh, thank you for listening to my video journal.